So we know that dopamine is released when people use digital media, okay? But we also know that it can rewire that neuronal process in the mind for that reward mechanism as well. We also are using virtual reality simulation for pain control in burn victims. So we can put on virtual reality glasses, kind of like the Oculus Rift 3, you know, 3D immersion glasses. Yep to the point where there's visual distraction and stimulation of endorphins that when the, when the wounded burn victim is playing a game called Snow World, throwing snowballs at snowmen and penguins, it actually deadens his pain so much that the nurse can scrub the burns every day and change bandages. Wow. So it's like a digital narcotic, it literally. And so you have to look at that as being a very powerful drug. So therefore, any drug will have positives and negatives. There's something in this cup that could kill me if I, if I drink too much. Water. Yes, water. And so I can get hyponatremia, and my brain would swell to the point where it would have, I would have seizures and I would die from hyponatremia, not enough you know, salt bathing the cells. Well, same thing with digital media. If you use it too much, there's going to be neuronal rewiring of the, of the body or the mind to cause serious ramifications of the, of the systemic effects. Does it matter what the media is? Does it matter if it's Facebook or a game? It doesn't matter because- Does it matter if it's a movie? No, because see, the human being develops through time. So if a child, let's say the child in the frontal lobe needs to develop empathy, creativity, reflective thought, all these things that we desire in a human being, if they're spending all their time in front of, let's say, a movie, they're going, only going to rewire those neuronal pathways for that movie, for example. But the problem with gaming is that it's more powerful than a movie. So when you look at like the research out of Stanford, Dr. Nick Yee, who's an expert in gaming and why people like to game, there are three elements that make gaming very addictive. Achievement, immersion, and socialization. That's where the internet came in. See, movies can only immerse you. Books can only immerse you. It doesn't provide achievement, and it doesn't provide, provide the socialization that hooks people in. Ah, and so we, we have changed the, the whole parameters once we added the internet into the internet. Absolutely, the whole and that's because I, I played quarters too. I was, you know, I, Missile Command, my first experience yes. with Missile Command was 10 bucks that my mom gave me. She would barely made anything minimum wage wise, but I spent the whole 10 bucks on Missile, missile Command. But when I'm done, I'm done. There's no more quarters. Right. I didn't become addicted to gaming until med school when I was on the internet playing with literally millions of other players and the game never ended. 